So the purpose of this session this morning is to introduce you to the process of selecting an, an appropriate library database for your topic, as well as developing an effective search strategy, searching in the library databases for articles, and searching in the library catalog for books and other materials. I know that probably sounds like a lot of topics, but I think, um, as I said, this will just be an introduction this morning. But another thing I'd like to mention is before we get started, uh, if you guys would like to search along with me, that, that's possible. You could minimize this window a little bit and then you can open up another browser. And if you'd like to search um, with, with me while I search in the library databases, you can do that. So to begin with, um, I'm going to start with showing you how to locate the library databases from the library homepage. And um, you can see that we're currently looking at the Belk Library homepage. And there's a few different ways you can get to the, the listing of databases from the library homepage. Um, if you go to uh, Find at the top of the page and click on Article Databases and eResearch Tools, that's one way you can navigate to the uh, library databases or if you go down below to the middle of the page under find, once again you'll see the link uh, labeled article databases and e-research tools. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. And um, as you can see on this page, the library databases are arranged by, by name, by type, and by subject. So for example, if, you, if there was a particular library database that and you knew you wanted to search. Uh, for example, let's say I wanted to search um, the, the database education resource. I would just click on E, the letter E, and that'll show, show me all of the library databases that begin with E, and they're arranged alphabetically by title. So I would click here on education resource to get to that particular database. So now I'll go back to the library databases page. And the next thing I'd like to point out is this listing of databases by type. And specifically, this uh, label here, General Databases, I'm going to go ahead and click on General Databases. And there's an excellent database here that I would highly recommend uh, everyone using when you're starting to look for articles on a topic, and it's this one right here, Academic Search Complete. Um, this is a multidisciplinary database, so it focuses on many uh, different topics. It includes uh, many uh, scholarly, academic, uh, peer-reviewed journals, and um, most of the articles in this library database are available online full text. So I highly recommend that you begin with this database when you're looking for information on any topic. And that's Academic Search Complete. So now I'll go back to the library databases page. And now let's look at this listing of databases by subject. And here you can see we have broad uh, subject areas listed alphabetically. So let's, so if you, um, if you had, you know, started your search in Academic Search Complete and then you wanted to do, uh, do a little bit more uh, in-depth uh, and more detailed searching, you could go to the subject-specific databases. And so um, for, for uh, my uh, example today, let's, let's pretend that uh, this is our subject. I'm going to type it in the text chat box. So let's pretend that um, we need information on this topic. How did women in colonial America shape the American Revolution? If that were our, um, our topic that we needed to find information on, what, uh, what, what subject do you think we'd select here? And you guys could go ahead and type your answer into the... Um, into the text chat box, which I can't see, but <laughs> but anyway, obviously what we'd probably do is select um, the broad subject area history. So I'm going to go ahead and click on history. And here you can see all of the history databases listed under best bets. So now from here you'd have to decide which one to select. And one thing you can, it's very important that you read the description of the library databases. For example, this particular one, America, History, and Life, with full text, uh, provides, uh, focuses on the United States and Canada, so it focuses on North America. And if you wanted to find out a little bit more about the database, you could go over here and click on this little letter 
uh, eye, this little icon, and then you'll you'll see some more detailed information about that particular database. So now I'll go back to that list of history databases, and you can see that underneath here we have another database uh, called Historical Abstracts with full text. And I I haven't if you were to click on the little eye icon again, you would find out that this um, database focuses on the rest of the world, excluding United States and Canada. So this wouldn't be a good one to use for the topic of uh, women in colonial America. So that's why it's important to read the descriptions of the databases before you begin searching. And also, if you guys are accessing the library databases from off campus, uh, remember that you'll be asked to enter your, uh, your first and last name and your banner ID number to get into those library databases. Okay, so now I'll go back to the library homepage. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, topic in our workshop today, and that is developing a search strategy. Um, and the first, which is the first step in the research process. I'm going to close uh, this window for a minute and pull up this Word document. And for our demonstration topic today, we'll use this topic right here. Animal experimentation is ethical because it benefits human health. Hopefully everyone can see this okay. And so when you're develop the first step in, in developing a search strategy is identifying the main concepts in your research topic. And I was going to ask you guys to type in um, the, uh, the terms that you feel are the main concepts in this research topic. But since you don't have the text chat box, I'll just go ahead and, and go through the process myself. So probably in this research topic, you can see that um, the main concepts would be animal experimentation, ethical, and human health. So I'll go ahead and type those in the boxes. Ethical, and then human health. So these are the main concepts in our research topic. So that's the first step in developing a search strategy, identifying the main concepts. And then the next step is brainstorming for similar or related terms to your main concepts. And of course, I've had a, a chance to think about this already. So uh, for animal experimentation, we might also want to use um, animal rights or maybe oops excuse me oops animal testing maybe um, animal research so these would all be um, similar or related terms to our main concept animal experimentation and then for ethical we could we might want to just you you can change the word to ethics or you might want to use moral or uh, responsible these would be some some possible terms that you could use in addition to ethical when you're searching and for human health we could use just um, human, uh, people, maybe person, persons. So, so this is the process that you go through. You, um, you, once you have your research topic, you uh, choose, select the main concepts and then brainstorm for similar and related terms to your main concepts. Because when you're searching in um, the library databases and in the library catalog, you'll combine these terms in different ways which will yield a variety of results. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, minimize this and go back to the library homepage. 
and um, what we'll do is we'll um, start uh, searching in the library databases to uh, to find some articles on this topic. So which database do you think I should begin with? Does anyone have uh, an idea about which database we should start with? And if you have the text chat box, maybe you could type your answer into that text chat box. I think John Wiswell has a text chat box. Oh, good. Okay, yes, that is the correct answer. So let's begin with Academic Search Complete. So um, I'll go to uh, General Databases and then Academic Search Complete. Okay, so now we're looking at the opening search screen and it, it defaults to the basic search screen, but it's always a good idea to begin with the advanced search screen. So I'll go ahead and click on advanced search because now we have multiple search boxes and we can see all of the search options available in this library database. For example, you can um, limit your search to full text only, you can limit your search to articles from scholarly peer-reviewed journals, over here you can limit by date and so forth. So um, these are all options that it's good to be aware of when you're searching in the library databases. So to begin with, I'll go ahead and start with our main concept, put it in the search box up here. And then I'm going to um, combine that with these terms, ethical or moral. And so you can see I've used the connector AND to combine um, two of the uh, main concepts, but I'm ORing together the similar terms. And at this time, I'm not going to set any other limits. So now I'll click on search. And now you can see that the, um, li the uh, library database has found 464 articles that have something to do with those keywords that I entered. So over here on the left-hand side, there, you, if you'd like to narrow it down a little bit, probably a good way would, to begin would be to narrow it down by, by year. So um, uh, you, can use, you can just slide over the little bar, I'll slide it over, or you could type in a year to 2000. So we only want to see articles from within the years 2000 to 2014. And um, now we've narrowed it down a little bit to 368 articles. We could also... Um, if we wanted to see the articles that were just from scholarly peer-reviewed journals, we can click in this box here. So I'll go ahead and do that. And now we have 291. And if we wanted to see only the articles that were full text within this result list, we can click on the full text box. So now we have 232 articles that are available uh, full text online in scholarly peer-reviewed journals. So now um, what we could, just to experiment a little bit, we can uh, start, we can use some, some of those other terms that we uh, brainstormed with, for. So I'm going to change um, ex animal experimentation to animal testing. Let's see, and then keep ethical or moral and see what happens. Click on search. And now we have 187. It, it held the limits over here, you can see. These are still full text from scholarly peer-reviewed journals for those dates. So that was uh, a, a little bit less than what we got before. And now I'll try animal research. So I, this way I've got, I've got, that's increased my um, list of results. So this way, you know, this is just a, um, a different way, you know, some of the different ways you can go about searching in the library databases to see, um, you know, what types of results you get. Now, uh, what you can do is uh, use the results display by relevancy. So your first 50 
um, hits will probably be the most relevant. So you can browse through these by mousing over the little magnifying glass here. And when you do that, you can uh, read the abstract of the article and see if you think this would be a good um, article to, to read for your topic. You can kind of browse through those. Um, and if you see some article data, uh, articles that you think look good, you can uh, select, you can mark them and add them to a folder by clicking on the little folder here. So let's say we're interested in the first four articles. So I'll click on the folder. So now we've saved those four articles to a folder and, and to view, to look at the folder, you click right here where it says go to folder view. And at this point, what you can uh, print these out if you'd like, you can email them to yourself or you could save them to um, a, a flash drive. First you would select over here and then either uh, print, email or save. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and, you know, at, when we first began this search, we started with keyword searching. So these were just relevant keywords that we entered. But um, as we browse through these and we see um, an article that looks good from um, the, the title or from reading the abstract, let's look at the complete record by clicking on uh, the title. So I think number four looks good, so I'm going to click on that. And now we're looking at the complete record. You can see all of the bibliographic information up here, uh, the author's name, the journal name, the date of publication. But what I'd really like to point out, and this is important, is the subject terms that have been added to this article. Because we always begin our searching with uh, keywords, but then once we find a good article, always look and see what the subject terms are because you can then search those and better focus your search. And you'll also uh, yield some different search results by using the subject terms. So you can see that animal experimentation, moral and ethical aspects is a subject that's been added to this article and that's very relevant for our topic. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And now the database will look for all the articles that have that particular uh, subject heading. And um, once again, you can uh, set your limits over here on the left-hand side if you'd like to. So just remember you always begin with the keyword search, but then move on to subject searching once you find a good article. So now we've, we've searched the general database and let's say we want to go into a little more depth, in depth a little bit more uh, to find more, uh, more articles about this topic in the subject specific database. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to X out of this library database and now I'm back at the, um, at the general uh, database web page and so I'll go back one more page. And this, this particular subject um, I took from a philosophy class um, that uh, I, I was working with uh, in the previous semester. So now uh, what we could do is uh, select, and the, the title of the philosophy class was Philosophy, Society, and Ethics. So now what I'd probably do is go, is to, go to the subject listing and select philosophy and then um, you can see I've got my philosophy databases here listed here under best bets and I'd begin with philosophers index and see what I could find in there. That would be the first subject specific database that I'd start with. Uh, does anyone have any questions at this point? Okay, so now we'll move on to, we'll take a quick look at searching uh, for, for books in the library catalog. So I'm going to go back to the library homepage. Just click on the back arrow till we get back there. And I'm going to look for books on this topic in the library catalog and I'm going to use App Search. And you can see that um, the App Search search box is right up here at the top. And App Search is a, a discovery tool 
that searches the library catalog in addition to about I think about 60 or so of our library databases so um, this is an important um, resource that we have for students and I'm going to do I'm going to start my search for books using app search the other option would be to search on the classic catalog which would only search would, would which would just search uh, the catalog by itself so I'll start my search uh, with animal experimentation I'm going to do the exact same search as I did in the library databases start with the keyword search and use the same terms click on search and sometimes um, app search moves slowly so we'll give it a few seconds see what happens otherwise I'll go to the classic catalog if it doesn't cooperate okay so here we go we have um, the way what app, what happens with app searches um, the first uh, list of results is books so we're seeing um, books from the library catalog listed here first if we wanted to switch to the article listing we could click on this tab but for now we're only interested in the library catalog and over here on the left side you can see that uh, well when we did the keyword search um, app search found seven books in the library catalog you can see that four of these are ebooks and three are print books so I'm gonna browse through these titles just to see if any of these look uh, relevant for my to my topic and the last one looks really good animal experimentation the moral issues so let's go ahead and click on the title to see the complete record and here it is and you can see that um, the table of contents is included in the in the library catalog record so you can browse through that and see if this is uh, a book that you'd be interested in checking out based on the table of contents you can see that this this is a print book it's located in the main stacks this is a call number and um, it's not checked out so you could request it by clicking right here on this request tab if you're um, a distance education student will mail the, this material to your home and if you're an on-campus student will pull pull the book for you and notify you when it's ready to be picked up at the circulation desk here but once again let me point out the importance of keyword versus subject searching we only got seven hits when I did that um, that keyword search so now I see that uh, animal experimentation moral and ethical aspects is um, one of the subject headings that have been assigned to this uh, library uh, book to this book so I'll go ahead and search that these are hot links just by clicking on the the subject heading and now the uh, app search is searching for all the material all the books or other materials in the library catalog that have been assigned that subject term and in this case it increased our search results to 48 and these should be all really focused on my topic based on that subject term So once again, I, I started out with the keyword search and then switched to the subject searching. That way you can you know you've done a comprehensive search and also better focused your search.